Welcome back. This is Dr. Ramos again, Director of Running Start. From this video, you will learn how to select classes. Remember, as a Running Start student, you're required to meet with your high school counselor to select classes and complete the Running Start Enrollment Verification Form, or the RSEVF, and then meet with a Running Start advisor prior to enrolling in your classes. The RSEVF needs to be signed by your counselor, your parent, and yourself prior to your Running Start advising appointment. When the Running Start advisor receives your RSEVF, she will remove the advisement hold on your account so you're able to register. Let's get started. I'm gonna share my screen with you. This is the Olympic College website, um, olympic.edu. You want to log in there in order to look at the schedule. You can see at the top of the screen, we have the class schedule. You need to click on that and then you're going to choose Olympic College. And where it says term, you want to put the term that you are going to be attending. So we're going to look at fall 2020. And I'm going to choose a class. And one thing I want to point out to you is, do you see some of these disciplines have CCN after them? That CCN stands for Common Course Number. A Common Course Number means that throughout the state of Washington, this course is numbered exactly the same. So if I wanted to um, look for an art appreciation class, I would push the art CCN. and do a search. And I want you to see that the default on the schedule is that show open class only is checked. And that's helpful because you wanna make sure that you're choosing classes that have room for you. So when I click the search bar, I can see that art 100, art with the and sign means it has the common course numbering, is art appreciation, and that there are three different sections of that at this time. And when you look at this, you can see all of these classes are online. And that's because during fall of 2020, all of our classes at Olympic College will be offered online. Now you might find a class that is offered online, but has a, a particular time that you have to attend the class. And I'm trying to see if I can find one. Ah, here, Art 106 is drawing one, and that class is an online class. You can see where it says room online, but it's telling you that it meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays from two o'clock to 4.15. This means that this class actually has a scheduled time that you will be meeting via an online, uh, online uh, platform like Zoom. And so you wanna be aware that you're not scheduling classes that have a time, a scheduled time to meet. You don't wanna make sure you're not choosing classes that are meeting at the same time. So that's something you wanna consider when you're looking at classes. If you're unsure of whether it is CCN or a common course number class or not, um, you just might have to check both of those. But in terms of like English 101, our English composition class, that one is um, a common course number throughout the state. And so when you find those classes you wanna take, you need to write down the course, oops, that didn't happen like I wanted, the course number, ART 102, you might write down the title, Art History, Ancient to Byzantine, and then write down this number, 11113. That is the item number for the class. We're gonna have another video about how to register for your classes, but that is the number that is essential when you're registering for your classes. Um, if that class has a specific time meeting, you went would want to write that down too. So if you were in the drawing one class, you would run, want to write down Tuesday, Thursday, 2 p.m. to 4.50 p.m. so that you're aware of what time you've already scheduled for that class. And then you would go on and select the other classes. 
my recommendation is to get an idea what you might want to take before you meet with your high school counselor if you have a diploma check and know what is still needed for your high school requirements that can help you guide you in choosing your classes i recommend every student take english 101 in their first quarter because that is going to help you as you move forward um, it'll help you in writing all the papers you have for subsequent classes the running start enrollment verification form that we're asking you to fill out with your high school counselor is required every quarter. So you wanna make sure that you have that available and sent to the running start advisor prior to the time you're gonna meet. Our running start advising appointments will be online for the fall quarter. And our next video will tell you how to schedule those. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.